there's a growing demand for safer walking and biking options across the U.S. But identifying cost-effective solutions remains a challenge. Dallas, one of the largest cities in the nation, only has five miles of protected bike lanes. And in New York, one of the most bike-friendly cities in the U.S., only 8% of streets have dedicated bike lanes. Yet, there is an unexpected solution to enhancing bike and pedestrian infrastructure, narrowing travel lanes. Using a national database of more than 1,100 streets, our goal was to find the optimal travel lane widths that would increase public safety by minimizing car crashes and maximizing opportunities for biking and walking. When comparing 9 and 11 foot lanes, we found no evidence of increased car crashes. Yet, when lanes increased to 12 feet, so did the risk of crashes, most likely due to drivers increasing their speed and driving more carelessly when they have room to make mistakes. In lanes at 20 to 25 miles per hour speeds, lane widths did not affect safety. However, in lanes at 30 to 35 miles per hour speeds, wider lanes actually resulted in significantly higher number of crashes. And finally, narrower lanes accommodate more users in less space, which means using less asphalt pavement, less land consumption, and smaller impervious surface areas. Here are our recommendations for how city leaders can improve these roadways for pedestrian, cyclists, and driver safety. When establishing lane with standards, setting a context-appropriate driving speed is the best place to start before determining the appropriate lane. Next, city leaders should consider an inclusive and comprehensive street design, factoring in pedestrians, cyclists, and the area's needs, rather than prioritizing driving speed and traffic efficiency for vehicles. Also, in urban areas, set a standard lane width of 10 feet and have engineers justify why it needs to be wider. Currently, in most states, the standard starts at 11 or 12 feet. For streets with heavy freight delivery, transit traffic, and snowfall, we still recommend lane widths of at least 11 feet. Finally, complement lane width reduction with a lane repurposing program to get the best use out of the extra space, such as adding a buffered bike lane or wider sidewalks. By narrowing travel lanes with city leaders can improve safety, optimize sidewalk and bike lanes, reduce environmental impacts, and boost economic activity.